Many people are asking, when will cruising resume? Well, I don't have great news for you today. More cruise lines announcing an extension of their suspension of operations. In today's episode, we'll do a cruise cancellation update and figure out when this whole thing's going to start up again. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. My name's Tony. If you enjoy travel and cruising content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of the episodes. Well, we're all sitting and waiting and wondering when will cruising resume, and we're kind of at the mercy of what's going on with the virus, what's going on with the health situation in the world. But yes, uh, we continue to watch, we continue to look as cruise companies continue to move the deadline further out. Uh, I do have some cruise cancellation updates for you. Let's jump into the list. Let's kick it off with cruise lines that just recently announced a new extension. Cunard uh, announcing that it has suspended its operations through July the 31st with the Queen Elizabeth Alaska season through September the 8th. Uh, being canceled. Norwegian Cruise Line suspending its operations through June the 30th. It will resume cruising again on July the 1st. And it's Alaska season in turmoil because Canada closing ports until after July the 1st. It, it is repositioning the Norwegian Sun to Florida and canceling all of its Alaska sailings. P&O Cruises also announcing extension of its suspension. They will be ceasing operations through July the 31st. Royal Caribbean also announcing this week that it has canceled all of its sailings until June the 12th. Now let's take a look at some of the dates that we've known for a little bit. We'll run through the major cruise lines, starting first with Carnival Cruise Lines. Uh, all of Carnival's cruises in North America suspended until June the 26th, 2020, with the exception of the Carnival Radiance, which is canceled through November the 2nd, 2020, and the Carnival Legend sailings, which are canceled through and including October the 30th, 2020. Significantly, all cruises from New York City in 2020 for Carnival have been canceled. Uh, Carnival's Alaska season also affected Alaska sailings through and including June the 30th, 2020, with all cruises scheduled to depart from San Francisco canceled for the rest of the year. Carnival Cruise Line also announcing cancellations of Australian cruises until June the 15th, 2020. Uh, again, the government has a lockdown in Australia, so Carnival will have to work to understand when they can cruise again out of Australia. Let's take a quick look at Disney Cruises. The plan at Disney is to start cruising again in May for the Disney Fantasy and the Disney Dream on May the 17th. Uh, the Disney Magic scheduled to resume sailing on June the 7th. And then all of the cruises from Vancouver will have to work in conjunction with the Canadian government to determine if going to Alaska is possible. This primarily affects the Disney Wonder. Looking at Celebrity Cruise Lines, all cruises on Celebrity canceled through June the 12th. Again, challenges with Alaska, all Alaska sailings and all of the Canadian sailings going up through New England and Canada uh, suspended through June. MSC has a May restart date. They have all cruises suspended until the end of May, May the 29th. Princess Cruise Lines have suspended all of their sailings through June the 30th, and Princess Voyages in Australia suspending all of their cruises until June the 15th. Holland America suspending its cruising until June the 30th. So looking at the list, it's really hard to predict when cruising will begin again. We still have some cruise lines saying the cruises might happen in May. A majority of cruise lines talking about cruising again in June. And now we've seen some cruise lines start to move that date all the way through July. It's interesting to watch what's going on between the cruise lines and the CDC. It does seem that cruise lines are setting dates that are in conflict with the CDC's no sale order. But the important thing to remember, the CDC's no sale order not set in stone. Uh, it can be rescinded at any time at the discretion of the director of the CDC. So I guess it does make sense for the cruise lines to almost act like that date doesn't exist and uh, just wait and see what happens. Uh, man, I hope cruising resumes soon. Uh, we are starting to see major cruise lines come out with new health policies. I did do a video yesterday talking about what Princess was doing. I will leave that linked above. 
Very interesting stuff. Make sure you check that out. And the cruise lines continue to offer refunds. They continue to offer future cruise credits, many times the future cruise credit for more than the actual price of the sailing as an incentive to get you to rebook instead of taking the refunds. And of course, on the refund front, everybody's saying it's taking a long time to get your refund. Uh, we put in for a refund for our Princess Cruise a week ago. We're starting to track to see how long that is until that comes in. I'll keep you up to date on that. That's my question for the comments today. Has anybody requested a refund from a cruise line? And if so, do you mind sharing your story in the comments? Did you get it? How long did it take? Are you still waiting? How long have you been waiting? Let's have that conversation. And also, did you have a cruise that was affected by these cancellations? What are you going to do? Are you going to rebook? Or are you going to take the refund? Thank you so much for stopping by today. I did do a little hypothetical video the other day as a what could we do to restart cruising, talking about cruises to nowhere and cruise line private islands. Let me recommend that video to you right there. And you know what? YouTube thinks you should watch this video. I happen to agree. Please show your support by hitting the like button. My name's Tony. And until the next time, We'll see you on the Lido. Bye.